<clears throat> hey, welcome back, everybody. Chili, Chili Sports Cards here. Um, surprise, surprise, it came a day early. Um, I finally got my box back. Oh, before I, I talk about that, this is my eBay store right here. So if there's something in here um, or on my store that you're interested in, please check it out and uh, feel free to purchase something. Um, so anyways, yeah, I wasn't expecting it until tomorrow, but it came today. Uh, it's my um, SGC uh, package. <laughs> Um, I haven't looked at the grids whatsoever online or anything like that. I just knew that it was coming uh, today or tomorrow, but it came today. So I just got it. Um, the mailman just came and dropped it off. And uh, without further ado, let's open it up and see what's in here. Um, like I said, I haven't um, even checked the grades on here. Um, I feel pretty confident. Uh, not, sorry about that. I... Uh, I visually inspected the cards pretty well with my naked eye before I sent them in um, and did a little bit of cleaning on some of them um, just to make sure that they got the best possible grades that they could get. So I feel pretty confident that the um, they will grade well. Um, I don't expect anything lower than an 8. Um, I might get an 8 in there. I'm not too sure yet. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to take it off camera for a second to open it because I don't have enough room to uh, to open it and talk at the same time okay I got it open so this is what you're going to expect when you get something back from SGC it comes first class in a box like this and you're going to have to sign for it so we got a lot of paper in here um, let's see I should have 11 cards most people send in like 20, you know, uh, even number, but so the rest of the box is just paper. Okay. That's the box right there. And this is all taped up pretty well, safe and secure. These are nice boxes too. I'll probably reuse this for something else. Maybe like a, a gift or if I, uh, ship out some cards and, or something like that. So, here it is, moment of truth. I am um, pretty excited to open these. I've been waiting for over a month and a half now for these cards. This box is really hard to open, so, okay, here it goes. Alright, guys. Pretty excited about this. So, these are the cards right here. They're rubber band together. It's empty now. All right. I really like SGC, man. I, I think they do a great job. So it's all rubber banded together. Probably reuse these rubber bands at some point. Just set these off to the side. <clears throat> all right. Okay, put these like right there so you guys can see. Okay, so they got the invoice in inside one of the cards. Um, let's see. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this so that way you guys can. Okay, so here's the uh, here's the first card. It has its own little plastic bag. The other ones don't, but that's okay. Okay, my my order. So, yeah, I'll go over this later. You guys don't need to see that. Okay, so the first card is a Pete Alonzo. Let's see if I can unzoom this a little bit. Tops Tribute rookie card, number 250. I got a 9, mint. Uh, it's number 40 out of 50. Um, I thought this card would actually do really better. It's one of the reasons that Beckett is so cool because if this was a Beckett graded card, it would tell me exactly where the card's flawed at. Um, I'm not too sure the corners on it look really super, super good and stuff like that. So I'm not sure, you know, where this card is um, flawed at, but a nine's a nine. I'll take a nine. Ooh, the next one's a nice one. The next one's really nice. Uh, if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, comment, um, 
share with your friends. Um, hopefully this uh, video, you know, encourages you encourage you guys to send cards into SGC or maybe buy cards on eBay that are SGC cards. Um, I think they do a good job. So, uh, anyways, the next one is the Eloy Jimenez. Um, if you're new, new to my channel, uh, I'm big on Eloy. I really like Eloy. I think that he's going to have a great career. And this is a uh, 2016 rookie card of his. Um, so, uh, you know, if you guys are out there and you're thinking that, you know, all the Eloy Jimenez rookie cards are 2019s. No, they go back to 2016. Um, he's in a Cubs uniform. So this is a gold refractor number to 50. Um, number 20 at 50 and a gem mint. It's a gem mint uh, Bowman Chrome gold refractor. Eloy Jimenez. So that's a big one right there. Uh, 10 gem mint is, is an amazing grade. Okay, so the next one. <clears throat> Elo Jimenez again. Uh, this is a blue refractor number to 150. Uh, it's number 134 out of 150, and uh, it's at 9.5. It's a gem mint. Um, there's the back right there, 134 out of 150. So I've got a 9, a 10, and a 9.5 so far. Um, it seems like this one's like a little crooked in the case. I don't know why. It looks like it's a little crooked. Is it just me? I'm not too sure. Yeah, it's a little off center. Like the way that the that's not. But that's okay. Okay, the next one. Um. Wow. Okay. Nice. This is a uh, Bowman Chrome, 2016. Also, it's a different kind of card though. See, because the the, the pictures are different. Um. This is a Chrome um, Prospect card. And this is um, an orange refractor, number to 25. Eloy Jimenez again. Um, it's number 9 out of 25. So, um, wow, it's pretty awesome, man. Um, okay, good grade so far. Bunch of 9 fives, a 10 gem mint. I'm going to hold on to the Eloys. I'm not, I'm not going to sell those for a while just because. Um, I think that his value is going to go up. I think he's going to have a good year next year. So, okay. Uh, Tops Chrome Refractor. Pete Alonzo rookie card. Um, wish I knew where this card was, you know, a little messed up at. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, I, I'm not too sure. Maybe it's a centering or something like that. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nine, so that's not bad. I'll take it. <clears throat> Next, we have a um, Bowman Sterling Speckle Pete Alonzo Refractor rookie card, um, number to ninety nine, and it's actually number ninety nine of ninety nine. I got a, a a nine, so you know nine is basically book value. Um, you know that's not too bad. That's a real pretty card. Um, if you look at a price for a two thousand eleven Mike Trout Bowman Sterling base. Like this one right here. This is a base card. Um, ungraded. You know, at basically like a, a naked eye mint to the eye kind of thing. Uh, Mike Trout Bowman Sterling is like a $800 card. So um, Bowman Sterling has potential to really go up in value a lot. <clears throat> so that's why um, I, I, you know, I graded the Bowman Sterlings. Um, I got a couple right here. Actually, I got three of them. Holy smokes. I forgot that I had three. So, one got a, a 10 gem mint. Um, right here. And I got two of them that are 9.5s. So, those are sweet. Um, I like Bowman Sterling a lot. So, I wish that the speckled one I would have got a 9.5. But, I guess that's okay. Um... You know, Pete Alonso is the the major rookie for me in my eyes this year, not Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So, and we got two more cards left to go. These are also 2016 um, Bowman Chromes. These are the original um, Pete Alonso rookie card um, refractors, and um, I bought both of these cards on eBay ungraded. Um, I just pretty much took a microfiber and cleaned the surface off and um and made sure that you know everything on there that you know i could do 
to them to make them grade well. I did. And I turned around and I got gem mints on them. Um, a 9.5 SGC is basically a PSA 10. Um, for those of you that don't know that, um, an SGC 9.5 will be a PSA 10 um, almost every time. So um, PSA 10s like this, so this card sell for almost $200 a piece. So um, they're pretty good cards. You know, I'll probably keep the 9.5 and I'll probably sell the 10. Um, you know, let's see what I can fetch for it. So that was my order. That's what I sent in. Um, I'm pretty happy with the results. I don't even think I got it in eight. You know, they're all nines or nine, nine fives. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, they're all there. So, um, 11 cards in total got really great grades um basically just a rookie card lot um i got the eloy and the pete alonzos um i'm real happy with the uh with the grades um i'm real happy with the cases and the way they looked i think there was one that kind of looked a little funny as far as it not being um you know the way that the card sits in the case it looked like it was like a kind of crooked a little bit like this one even looks a little bit crooked I'm not too sure exactly how crooked it is, but yeah, I think it's this gold one. But um, yeah, nice cards, man. Um, if there's if you see something that you're interested in, maybe purchasing, let me know. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna put all of them for sale or what I'm gonna do with them. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna sell the the, the ten for sure. I'm gonna probably keep this one. On the um, Sterlings, I'm going to probably keep just one of them. So, um, I'm going to probably keep the, um, I don't know. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do yet. Because I do have my own PC also, you know. So, um, I'll probably sell the 9.5s. And I'll keep the 10 um, regular Sterling just to see how the value goes up over time. And then the speckle one, um, I think this has potential to be a huge card in the future, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that one. Um, I'll probably I'll probably turn around and sell this one if I can't get you know forty or fifty bucks for it. It's just gonna sit I'm in my store. And then the Eloys, I'm gonna hold on to them too because I think that um, these cards are gonna go up in value if he does you know better. And I'll probably put this Pete Alonzo up for sale. It's a nine, so it's like a thirty dollar card. So these are the gonna be the ones that I'm gonna keep probably right here for now until so I can fetch more money for them. There's one, two, three, there's six cards. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put these five for sale up on my on my eBay channel. This one would probably be like thirty bucks. This one would probably be like fifty. Um, these ones I'll probably sell for, you know. $20 a piece and then this one right here I'm going to sell for about I don't know somewhere between 150 and 200 so alright guys let me know what you guys think in the comments I was pretty excited to open this for you guys um please like comment subscribe share with your friends um yep that's pretty much all I gotta say so uh peace out thanks for watching my video I appreciate it um and I'll talk to you guys later um you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a little bit more. I changed my mind. Um, I'm gonna talk to you guys about card grading in general because um, I think that <clears throat> some of it needs to be addressed again. Um, a lot of my videos have been about card grading. Um, so I'm gonna explain to you guys why card grading is important. Um, I've seen videos where people are talking about card grading being a scam. Um. In today's world, um, eBay is a huge, um, you know, player in, in sports cards. And if you're buying sports cards online, you can't see them in, in person. Like, say for this instance, like this card right here, it's a uh, Vlad Guerrero Jr. rookie card. Um, if I was picking this up in person, like I'm holding it right now, then I could visually look at it. I could see if it has a crease or if it has any kind of damage. 
or if there's anything wrong with the card in general. Um, I'm obviously not going to be able to measure it and then measure other ones and make sure it's all legit and everything like that as far as size goes. But um, generally cards aren't really being trimmed unless they're going to be sent in to get graded anyways. So um, size, you know, you can't really do anything about it. You can't, you know, memorize all the exact sizes of the cards and stuff like that. But um, the reason that card grading is so important is because if you're going to be buying stuff online, you want to make sure that you buy stuff that is um, in mint condition or, you know, somewhat close to mint condition for the year or whatever have you. And the only way that you can guarantee yourself you're buying a good card is if you buy one that's graded. Um, and also when cards get graded, they're um, authenticated as mean, you know, this company is saying that this card is authentic. It's not some kind of knockoff card or it's not some kind of fake card or anything like that. So you're ensuring yourself that you're actually buying the real card and not a fake card. And you're also ensuring yourself that you're buying um a card that is not damaged you know or it, it's in good condition um that has a huge um factor in the value of a card you know i could i could go buy a bunch of cards real cheap that you know are messed up like i don't know like i could go find the 1993 sp Derek jeter card with a slight crease in it um and probably talk the guy down to like five bucks you know or, or a couple bucks and then turn around on, and sell it on eBay for a few hundred and then not even show the picture and the, and the crease in the picture. And, um, you know, they're going to be pissed off when they get it in the mail and they look at it. But honestly, there's nothing that, you know, as a buyer, if you're willing to spend money on a card, um, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. If you're buying an ungraded card, um, you're going to get what you get. And, that's, this is just a way for, you know, you to be, um, you know, protect yourself if you buy a card that's graded. Um, you don't have to necessarily worry about it too much. You can still buy ungraded cards online. Um, and I do, like this one right here. I bought this card ungraded, and it came out to be a gem mint. Granted, I, I cleaned it, and I did some things to it to make it um, gem mint because it wasn't going to gem mint the way that I sent it in. Um I am by no means a professional, um, you know, card trimmer slash cleaner or anything like that. But um, I've watched some videos and stuff, and I, 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 you know, I, I definitely clean this card. You know, I had a, a microfiber. I didn't use any wax or anything like that, but um, I just cleaned the card basically, okay. And I did so in a way where I handled the card, you know, with the uh, you know utmost care, and I um. You know, I just made sure that you know anything that I did to it, I didn't damage it, and I just cleaned it, and it came out a ten gem mint. Um, so you know these cards, um, you know they're graded, and um, you know anybody that decides that they want to buy them, they're going to buy graded cards, and they're going to know exactly the condition that they're in, and I'm going to send them in the mail in a way that they're going to get to them exactly in the same, you know. Um, in the same, you know, condition that, you know, I sent them. So, so that's why card grading is so important. Um, you know, online, you can't see it in person. So, um, you want to make sure that if you're buying stuff, you know, buy, buy something that's graded if you're wanting a guarantee for a, a good card. And also, um, there's three major companies that do card grading, um, and I'm going to show you guys <clears throat> the other two. There's <clears throat> there's other card grading companies out there also that um, that do it. But as far as like what's generally you know considered to be um, worth a crap, I guess you could say. Um, you only want to use these three companies, okay? You either want to go with uh, PSA and bgs or beckett okay so these are uh, the other two companies and sgc um they're all good options um psa you know has their their stuff going on right now with them but um you know i've, I've talked about that before in other videos um these are probably the most you know common um most used company right here psa and and for good reason they've done a good job for a long time but um you know they've really dropped the ball as far as letting some of the um, 
cards go through that have been trimmed and severely altered and stuff like that so me personally i i just i don't want to use them at all but um you know that's just me um you guys can definitely you know make your own decision and choose whoever you want um <clears throat> and there's also beckett um in beckett you got the um the subgrades here which is really cool because it pretty much tells you where that card's flawed and if you're sending in a card like for me personally like in this um in this uh submission that i sent out um i would really like to know where this card's flawed at just out of you know pure curiosity because i remember looking at the card um and thinking that it was really really nice and that there wasn't any issues with it really um that corner right there might be a slight these are really thick cards by the way also um so anyways um yeah i'd like to know where that card's flawed at just you know for my own personal um knowledge you know um and if sgc did the subgrades like beckett does it would tell me so i think that sgc um should really start thinking about maybe offering that as a service um they said that they were going to start doing stuff online as far as um uh notes and stuff like that but i have yet to see that um it doesn't mean that they don't do them, but I, I definitely don't remember seeing that option. Um, so, you know, when I sent in these cards, um, I didn't see that option on their stuff. So, um, it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist, but, um, I definitely didn't see it or pay for it. And I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to be able to find out, you know, where this card's flawed at. Um, but you know, a nine's good enough, I guess. Um, I can't expect to get all tens. Um, but the thing is, is if it is a 10, then, you know, give me a 10, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Um, overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the, you know, with the cards and the grades. And, um, I got some really cool cards here and, um, I'm going to see if what I can get for them and stuff like that. And, um, I don't want to repeat anybody off or anything like that. I just want to get a fair, you know, fair price for, for my effort. You know, I, um, I think this card will definitely do well. And these ones right here, uh, the nine five should do pretty well. Um, you know, they're not super, super valuable cards, but, um, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, make a million dollars or anything like that. I'm just trying to put some good, good cards out there to, uh, collectors, you know, somebody that maybe might be a Mets fan, you know, and they want to get a, you know, a gem mint Pete Alonzo rookie card, a refractor from 2016, you know, um, you know, this could be, you know, some, something really nice in somebody's collection, you know, um, so anyways yeah that's that's all i gotta say i don't want to talk anymore i'm gonna just enjoy the rest of my day um i'm not gonna probably send in any cards anytime soon except for maybe this one um let me know in the comments what you guys think about this one should i send it in to beckett should i send it in to psa should or should i send it into sgc i'm a big sgc guy um i don't know the blue kind of blends in with the black a lot just looking at it like that so um you know aesthetically that might not be the best case to ship it in you know maybe will that look better in a psa um i've said before that i won't send in stuff to psa but if i've never sent in stuff to psa then who am i to say if i don't if i don't like them or not you know so i might try to send this one in a psa or i might send this one in a beckett <laughs> I'm not too sure. I think that looks pretty good. I might just send this one in a Beckett. Um, this is a Topps Update um, Blue Refractor right here. So I really like Pete Alonzo, so that's why I, I purchased that card on eBay myself. I didn't pull that or anything. So anyways, yeah, I'm going to put these up for sale right now. Um, and if you guys are interested, let me know um, by making a purchase or doing a bid or whatever. All right, guys. I appreciate it, man. I'll uh, I'll put these on for sale right now, and I'll talk to y'all later. Have a great day. Peace.